Hi everyone. Good afternoon to all. I'm yes. Lee Hui from Skyports, and I'm part of the APEC team located in Singapore. So I'm very excited here today to share on our design approach and projects for advanced air mobility. And before I begin, a huge uh, thanks to Rob for your shout out earlier. So I'll move on, and I'd like to begin to take a step back and look at the problem that AAM is solving. So this problem is clear. Today we see 56% of the world's population living in cities, and we see an estimated 9 million deaths estimated per year from air pollution. And from an economic perspective, an estimated $88 billion is lost to congestion in the US. And if we try, if we try to solve this problem by building more roads, this comes at a cost as well. And more importantly, this is not a sustainable solution. So the only solution that I think we are all here today that we are looking at is advanced air mobility. And billions of dollars have been invested by eVTOL OEMs, with the first vehicles expected to be certified in the next two years. And the AM solution provides fast trans transportation with speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour, safety through distributed electric propulsion technology, and cost effectiveness. And above all, it is also environmentally sustainable and quiet. So while the OEMs like um, our friends at EVE are pushing ahead with through certification, we also need to keep our eyes on another critical aspect of the ecosystem, which is the landing infrastructure, also known as the vertipod which is required to serve and support any air passenger or cargo drone flights. And this is where Skyports comes in. So at Skyports, we are a mobility company that develops and operates landing infrastructure for electric air taxis and cargo drones. We are headquartered in London with regional offices in Singapore, which is where I am in, and Boston. Our investors include major players in the mobility space, such as, such as Deutsche Bahn, which is the National Railway of Germany, and Group ADP, a major airport operator based in France, Islandia Aviation, the family office of Ryanair, and Lepidic Capital, which is a major venture capital firm focused on next generation aerial mobility, among others. So at Skyports, we manage the entire process of vertiport development from design through to development and operations. And we work closely with key local partners, including landlords, building owners, governments, throughout the entire process. So before we go further into the presentation, we should also have a quick view of what a vertiport could look like. And the rendered image shown on this slide showcases a simplified vase vertiport, vertiport design involving one final approach and takeoff pad, three e vertical stands, and a simple terminal. At Skyports, we focus on first having a vehicle agnostic air site design that is able to accommodate any OEM's eVTOL. Second, a terminal with high passenger throughput that is able to process passengers efficiently and with minimum building footprint. And third, based on next generation traffic management systems. Fourth, with dedicated re energization facilities and that is flexible enough to cater for different OEM needs whether it is through charging at the stands or battery swapping. And fifth, we design based on the emerging regulatory framework. The Skyports works closely with aviation authorities to align our designs under development to the latest guidelines. And this is where our focus on even the smallest details of important components from concept of operations through to things like airfield markings and security come into play. So besides air passenger taxis, we are also looking into design and development of cargo drone pods. And such drone ports will enable both ship to shore deliveries and also regional opportunities. And with regional opportunities, we will look to enable cross border cargo drone deliveries. And the design here will need to cater for different fatal pets to address both smaller and larger drones on the market and to enable the full chain of goods movement, warehousing facilities and potentially cold chain facilities will need to be considered as part of our planning for any future cargo drone port. The design approach taken by Skyports can be summarized through our nine design pillars. And you've already heard about our OEM agnostic approach. So besides that, we also strive to establish a site agnostic based design that will allow us to bring a strong design base to any location in the world. But we are also always keenly plugged into the local context and will ensure that all designs are adapted to meet the local conditions and environment. So next, a scalable design is also key to our design approach. But the ports need to be able to cater for new requirements of all future business needs. For example, customs and immigration facilities 
may need to be added once regional flights across borders can happen. And as the passenger demand builds up for vertiports, we may also need to expand the vertiport on site. And hence, the scalable design allows us to balance between building vertiports today while safeguard safeguarding potential for future operational requirements and to minimize the cost and risk incurred today. A big part of enabling scalable design is tasked to have a modular design approach. And a vertiport that is modular and designed for manufacturing and assembly can also be more rapidly deployed. And this is important because we can then design and manufacture the vertiport off-site in a controlled environment before assembly, assembling it on-site. And this helps us to operate in highly urbanized environments such as downtown Seoul or in Singapore, where land is prime and limited and impact to existing stakeholders within the area needs to be minimized. A fifth design pillar of Skyports is also to be regulatory compliant. And above all else, our vertiport designs are based on the latest guidance from YASA and other aviation bodies. And where guidance is not set yet, we take educated references from helicopter guidelines and study the suitable technical approach, drawing on our in-depth knowledge and discussions with OEMs and suppliers. And in line with our regulatory compliance, our design is also highly functional. And we prioritize function with the practical mindset that the vertiport must work efficiently and effectively. A seventh pillar for Skyports is sustainable design. This is since sustainability is key to AAM. And our design will reflect this through energy efficiency and zero carbon initiatives. An eighth pillar is that the design must be cost effective and the overall commercial proposal for the vertiport must make sense for all stakeholders involved. And last but not least, the vertiport design must be visually attractive as vertiports will eventually form part of any city's iconic urban skyline. So I've gone through our design pillars and these are accompanied by drivers for vertiport requirements. So vertiport requirements include customer experience touch points and we consider every customer's uh, passenger touch point at each step of their journey in planning a vertiport. We then look at what are the activities required to process the passengers at each point. And we establish the minimum facilities required for a passenger to safely complete their journey at our vertiport. And importantly, we establish the requirements to ensure a safe and efficient interface between the terminal and the airfield. So to support our design approach, we strongly recognize the need to go beyond futuristic drawings for vertiport designs. And airport planning expertise must be applied across all components of a vertiport, from surface access through to security. And at each step, Skyports evaluates the design trade-offs, such as reducing visual attractiveness to reduce upfront costs, or accepting a higher operational cost for regulatory compliance. And this practical, nuanced, and comprehensive design approach forms the core of how we approach vertiport design at Skyports. And the design must, of course, be tested. So I move on to a few of the projects that we are now working on at Skyports. The first project that I would like to share is our test bit by the port at Sergei Pontois. We are working with Group ADP, one of our investors, to develop the first Vertiport test bit at Sergei Pontois Airfield near Paris. And through this test bit, we will test out technology, systems, and operations for passenger terminal, air site operations, and airspace integration. This test bit project will be key to enable AAM commercial operations by 2024 in France. And Vertiport development is planned for the first half of this year with testing and demonstration planned for later this year. While this project is not in Asia Pacific, I have mentioned it here because the work that is done at Sergei Pontois, the testing done here and the learnings will feed into the work that we are doing in Asia Pacific and vice versa. And at Skyports, we have numerous projects running at different speeds and timelines and we are actively identifying where the testing or demonstration work from one regional project can speed up the work of another elsewhere. Shifting the focus to APEC, we have partnered with Japanese conglomerate to deploy the vertiport sites in Osaka in time for Japan Expo 2025. We are a member of the Osaka Roundtable for AAM and are supporting the Government Research Institute NIDO. And currently, we are also in discussions with major landlords in Osaka to secure sites for vertiport development. So, uh, drawing the focus to Singapore, where I am at, we continue to target to build the first commercial passenger vertiport in APEC. 
In 2019, we designed and built the world's first WeatherPod prototype together with our partner, Volocopter. This was the first ever urban trial conducted over Marina Bay, and we maintained a strong partnership with Volocopter in Singapore. At the moment, we are in active ongoing study with the Singapore government to develop a commercial WeatherPod in the next two to three years. And still in Singapore, and not forgetting our drone services are also progressing rapidly. We are currently conducting surveillance of reservoirs for Singapore's government body, the Public Utilities Board. And currently, we are also conducting trials to fly drones to deliver high-value goods between shore and ship in Singapore's anchorages, which is one of the world's busiest waterways. And just yesterday, we also announced that we have formed a consortium with ST Engineering and Sumitomo Corporation to use unmanned aircrafts to deliver goods from shore to ship in Singapore. It gives a major boost to the trials that we have been conducting in Singapore. We have also taken up space at Seletar Aerospace Park in Singapore and is planning to set up a drone operations centre there. We will then be able to conduct beyond the dual line of sight drone flights in APEC from our Singapore office. And for this piece of work, we are targeting substantial scale up and roll out in 2022. So to conclude, we have numerous projects coming up in APEC and around the world, and these projects require collaboration with technical institutions and authorities. We are ramping up on our WeatherPort deployment work as we anticipate certification of the eVTOLs and upcoming technology maturity of batteries and UTM systems. We also see harmonization of emerging international framework and standards as the key step for commercialization of WeatherPorts in the next few years. And this is something that Sky Skyports is working hard on with aviation bodies. As we work on our APEC projects and apply the standards, we will also work with government and technical authorities to jointly refine these standards. And lastly, as we work towards commercialization of the supports, we also see a great need to work with governments and technical partners to conduct public demonstrations, showcases and outreach to garner greater social acceptance. So with that, I've come to the end. Thank you for your attention. And at Skyports, we are always on the lookout for more collaboration opportunities in Korea and in the wider APEC. And please reach out to me if you have any queries or opportunities.